And so we have prepared a galvanic cell right here using uh, zinc sulfate and copper sulfate for our solutions. And of course, in here is a copper electrode as well as a zinc electrode. Now, the most active metal here is the zinc. And so zinc is going to easily lose electrons and copper is going to gain the electrons. When copper gains the electrons, it becomes reduced. And so reduction is happening at the cathode. Copper will be the cathode, zinc will be the anode. This galvanic cell isn't connected by a salt bridge to balance the ions. Instead, it uses a porous cup. We've soaked this porous cup in sodium chloride so the ions can travel across into each solution to balance the charge as the electrons are passed from the uh, anode to the cathode. Okay, so we have a voltmeter right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to show that there is a potential difference. In other words, electrons are going to be flowing from the zinc to the copper. Uh, now, you may or may not need to understand what the potential difference is, but zinc and copper make a, potent, uh, make a, make a very predictable uh, voltage when they're made into a galvanic cell. So if I can get this pushed hard enough, 1.06 volts. And that is exactly the potential difference that I would expect when I have zinc and copper in a galvanic cell.